Welcome to Dr. SVL's lecture series on immunology. Today we will be looking into the topic tumor immune response. I have planned this topic as two parts. The first one being the various stages of cancer development. So before entering into the actual response, immune response to tumor cells, let us first understand the causes for cancer carcinogenesis that is tumor formation. Scientists have identified various factors like chemicals, pollution, lifestyle changes, pesticides, mutations, smoking and tobacco consumption as various factors for that cause cancer that is they have been identified as carcinogens. Among the various factors identified the smoking and faulty food habits have been identified as the major cause. At this point, we have a question. Do everyone who are exposed to the above mentioned factors, either one or many or all the factors, develop cancer? Definitely not. Not all smokers, not all persons who, are, who have faulty habits end up in cancer. We are seeing Persons with very good habits and disciplined life develop tumors and people with very uh, wrong food habits and lifestyle, they, they are not uh, developing any cancer in their lifetime. And then what is the reason for the cancer formation? The reason is our immune system, that is the body's defense mechanism. We have a very beautiful mechanism called immune surveillance. Surveillance means a constant watching on the any suspicious activity around us. A immune surveillance means the watching of immune system through its various parts like various cell, cells of the immune system it watches continuously whether any normal cell it is the transforming into a cancer cell. Our immune system it actually recognizes any foreign material like it may be a bacteria or virus through the antigens or proteins on the surface of the bacteria. So by identifying these antigens only it discriminate the self and non-self and start attacking the non-self material. So actually our immune system is trained for identifying the non-self antigens. So here the scenario is the cancer cells they are not foreign cells they, are, they, are, they have not come from outside the body like a bacteria or virus it is our own cells a normal cell has been transformed into a cancer cell. So the immune surveillance what it is doing it actually identify the emerging cancer cells by recognizing the abnormal antigens on the cell surface as a non-cell or foreign. So when a, a normal cell it transforms into a cancer cell it starts expressing new proteins or mutated proteins on their surface. So our immune system it identifies these antigens as non-self material and start attacking the cancer cells. So this constant uh, monitoring of the body for small tumors is known as immune surveillance. This immunological surveillance theory it was proposed independently by two scientists, Louis Thomas and Frank McFarlane Burnett. They suggested that the immune system continually survey the body for the presence of malignant cells. Malignant cells means tumor cells, which were continuously arising as a result of mutation. So this cancer immune response, once a cancer cell is identified by the presence of new proteins, mutated proteins, the cancer, our immune system start responding against the cancer cells. It can be divided into three phases, elimination phase, equilibrium and escape phase. 
So, in equilibrium in elimination phase what happens? When the immune surveillance is successful, our immune system if it is strong, it will identify the cancer cells and through our various immunological mechanisms through the T cells, T cytotoxic cells, T helper cells, B cells, antibodies, interleukins, cytokines, it start attacking the cancer cells through these various immune mechanisms and kill the cancer cell. So by means of immune surveillance, the nascent tumor cells, nascent tumor cells means tumor cells that are at the initial stage. They are successfully recognized and eliminated by the immune system, thus returning the tissues to their normal state of function. Actually, if the response end up in this elimination phase, we not even know that, know that we have developed a tumor cell. Scientists are saying that every day we are developing thousands of cancer cells because we are now respiring polluted air, intaking polluted water and we, we are taking many chemicals as food preservatives uh, and pesticides. Okay? So, uh, by all means we are exposed to various carcinogens. So, we are our normal cells or thousands of cells they are getting transformed into cancer cells. But due to our immune resp response, they are these cancer cells they are eliminated from our body. Suppose if our body, our immune system is not strong enough or the cancer cells they are very strong, they are very vigorous then the next stage will be progressed it is equilibrium phase so the tumor cells they are very clever they will try to escape from our immune system by following some evading strategies so it will try to uh, change its proteins according to the uh, to our immune system it will start new it will uh, new mutations will happen and the, it will start changing its uh, protein structure. The protein which was identified by the immune system, it will start changing the structure. So, at this phase, the tumor expansion and metastasis are minimal. So, actually at this phase, our body is at war. There is a constant struggle between our immune system and the tumor cells. Our immune system will try to eliminate the cancer cells and the cancer cells it will try to escape from our immune system. So this is a phase of tumor dormancy. So usually it occur without any clinical symptoms. So what will be the result of this war? There, there, may, there will be two possibilities. One, the if our immune system is strong it will eventually eliminate all the tumor cells leading to an outcome which is similar to the elimination phase. In the second scenario, if the tumor cells are strong, it will elude the immune surveillance phase and progress into the immune editing phase. So, due to the constant interaction of the immune system with tumors over a long period of time, the, it results in the immune editing of the phenotype of the developing tumors. That is, that means change in the protein structure on the surface of the tumor cells. So, if at this stage, if the second scenario continues, then the tumors will escape from our immune system. So, the tumors, it will be no longer susceptible to our immune system and uh, it will progress into the next phase called escape phase. So, the emergence of clinical symptoms of cancer generally correlates with this escape phase. Only at this phase, externally we'll, we will start expressing some clinical symptoms like fever, pain, inflammation and so on. So, these are the different stages of cancer development in the immunological perspective. And the next part of this topic, immune response to tumors, will be the immune mechanisms against the tumors. What are the immune mechanisms that are involved against the tumor cells? 
so the host response can be divided into innate and acquired or adaptive immune mechanisms in both innate and adaptive mechanisms the two arms of the immune system that is cellular and humoral mechanisms are involved so that will be dealt in the next part of the video